guys, it's me, Richard, again. I got me a nice haircut, and it's so great. I love it. Um, I messaged my barber last night, and I was like, is there any way you're still cutting hair? And he said yes. Um, people he knows, and luckily he's been my barber since I was a kid, so I lucked out, got me a nice haircut. Feels good, I like it. Gosh, mm, can't be a good haircut, I'm telling you. Um, I told y'all, ah, told y'all last time we'd be, um, we're gonna take a quick break from 2 Timothy, uh, maybe one or two videos, I might, might have a surprise for my next one, probably gonna do my testimony in the next video. Today I just kinda just wanted to talk. Um, I'm reading a few books right now. Well, a few, I mean, I'm reading three. These three books. Um, let's start off with this one. I just started reading this one last week. It's called Love Does by Bob Goff. It's an amazing book. I'm only a chapter in right now. I just got it last week. And it's already so good. I probably could have read this whole book in one day if I really wanted to. If I really wanted to. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make it last a little bit. Maybe a week. <laughs> so... That's a recommended read. Somebody recommended it to me. And then several people said this is just an amazing book. Um, so, like I said, Love Does by Bob Goff. Check it out. And when I'm, I'll do a review of it when I'm done. Um, I'll keep y'all updated on it. And this book is New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. It's a daily devotional. And so you just read a page every day. So, today... I read this one, April 20th, and this is the most influential book I have in my life besides the Bible. Just, um, I'm actually going to read today's thing, and it's just such a great book. Like, I've, I've, I have started it in November, and it was recommended to me by a good friend, um, Pastor Kyle Jones of New Life Community Church. Great influence in my life when I was in college, and... He, he still is now. We, we keep in touch. We probably send text messages maybe once a month just um, for tips, advice, just see how things are doing. And so if, if you're in the Magnolia, Camden area, and you need a church, New Life Community Church in Magnolia, Arkansas, that's where it's at. So um, not to take away from... First Baptist Church of Smackover, First Baptist Church of Camden. But if you're looking for a church and you've tried out those churches, New Life Community Church in Magnolia is a great, is a great church. It'll make you feel like home for sure. So I'm gonna read today's April 20th, um, today's little page, and um, I think that's all we're gonna do today. And we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. So it says, "Grace does not make it okay for you to live for you." No, grace frees you to experience the joy, joy of living for one greater than you. <clears throat> so good. It says, It is universally, universally true that what seems to us to be freedom isn't really freedom after all. When Adam and Eve stepped outside of God's boundaries, they didn't step into freedom. They stepped into toil, temptation, suffering, sin, and bondage, denying God's existence, desiring His place, ignoring His rules, and determining to make it on your own might seem like pathways to freedom, but they never, ever are. You and I weren't designed to live independently. We weren't meant to live in our own strength. We were created to rely on our own wisdom. We weren't given the ability to write on our own moral codes. We weren't put together with the independent knowledge of how to live, how to steward the physical world, or how to properly relate to one another. We were not created to live by ourselves or for ourselves. That's so important. That's so important. We weren't made to live by ourselves. And we weren't meant to live for ourselves. And the to attempt to do so never leads anywhere good. I don't know about y'all, but when I start doing stuff for myself, everything starts going wrong. But... <laughs> that's how it is we'll talk about that more in the next video though so as God blesses us and changes us with his grace the result isn't a greater ability to live an independent life the opposite is true grace doesn't free us to live for us the purpose of God's grace is not to make your little kingdom of one work better the purpose of God's grace is to free you from your slavery to you so that you can live for a much much better kingdom and he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. 2 Corinthians 
True freedom is never found in putting yourself at the center with your choices and behaviors shaped by your allegiance to you. Real freedom is only ever found when God's grace liberates you to live for one infinitely greater than yourself or than you. It contradicts our normal thinking, but the doorway to freedom is submission. When I acknowledge that I am in danger to myself and submit to authority, wisdom, and grace of God, I'm not killing any hope I have for freedom. The opposite is true. Humble admission of need and humble submission to God open me up to the freest of lives. I was created to live in worshipful and obedient dependency on God, and when grace restores me to that place, it also gives me back my freedom. It may seem constricting that the train always has to ride on those tracks, but try driving in a meadow and all motion stops. So grace puts you back on the track again and gives you the freedom of forward motion, which you have no other way. So Paul David Tripp really puts it in a way that sees, says this. When you come to Christ, you're given freedom. You're given freedom to live life with God. A freedom apart from sin, but you're you're not free to live for yourself. You're free to live for God because if you're living for yourself, you're not in freedom. You're still a slave to sin. You're still a slave to yourself. You're given that freedom from grace of God. You're given that freedom from sin so you can live for an infinitely greater kingdom, for a better kingdom, for one much higher than we are. And... Paul David Tripp, he just wanted us to realize this as Christians. This book is designed for um, a daily devotional read. It's just a daily reminder that we are free from our sin, but we are not free to live of ourselves. So that's my challenge is for us to understand the true meaning of freedom isn't I'm free to do whatever I want because I have God's grace. I can go out and sin and be forgiven. No. No, we're free to live in God's grace because he has given it to us and we are free to live for his kingdom and we are free from our sin. So, sit on that. Um, so these are just some books I'm reading. I just want to talk a little bit about them. Love Does by Bob Goff. New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. And, of course... The Holy Bible, written by many authors, inspired scripture by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Next time, um, I hope you can all, I hope you all are getting stuff out of these videos. I know it helps me tremendously. And, hey, chill out, dude. Dog's in here and the dog playing, covering up the pan. You believe that? He, he, he's so smart. He doesn't want the other dogs eating his food. But back on topic, um, tune in, please tune in next time. Um, I'll be sharing my testimony. I'm full. Everything uncovered. Um, it's, it'll probably be a, a long video. But next time, testimony, long, uncovered, nothing covered up, just all out in the open, very vulnerable. And um, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.